Hello, it's Jackie Green from GAI's Behind the Design, where we are helping build a stronger design community by reimagining training, education, and support for designers. Today, I have a quick SketchUp tutorial for you on how to copy. Copying can be a little tricky if you're a beginner, but today you're going to learn the basics of copying, so this won't be a problem. Now, if you're ready, let's get started. I have opened a blank SketchUp file and I'm using the simple template to help you visualize and follow along. I've also opened another file where I have downloaded a table from the 3D warehouse. Unfortunately, SketchUp can be kind of confusing when it comes to copying. We covered this a lot more detail in our SketchUp for Beginners course, which you can check out at www.behind thedesignco.com. Here we will talk about two types of copying. Copying in the same model and copying in one SketchUp model to another SketchUp model. Let's begin by learning to copy in the same SketchUp model. In the blank file, I will begin by drawing a cube. I will simply use the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, hit spacebar to get out of my command, Rotate around and use push-pull to turn it three-dimensional. Now this is the very important part about copying. Before we copy, we want to make sure that this is either a group or a component. We group for several reasons, which I discuss in other videos in our SketchUp for Beginners course. For copying purposes, we want to glue all the edges and faces together by grouping to ensure we don't leave anything behind. It is easy to leave something behind if you aren't careful. Therefore, I will use a bounding box, selecting all the edges and faces, and then right-clicking and selecting Make Group. Now I can copy my cube without worrying about leaving something behind. Copying within the same model is similar to moving. Remember, when we move, we select the item, then select the move command, or the shortcut on our keyboard is M, then select the item again, and move along the axis. When we move it the distance we want, we simply click again and hit spacebar to get out of our command. To copy, we go through a similar process. We select the group, we hit the move command or M on our keyboard, but this time after we hit the move tool, we select the control key on our keyboard, then select the corner of the cube and start to move our mouse and our object along the axis. When we have it in the location we want it, we simply click the left mouse button one time and hit spacebar to get out of the command. Now since we only grouped this geometry, each cube is independent of the other. If we had made the cube a component rather than a group, they would be dependent on one another. What does that mean? If they are independent, we can do whatever we want to the cube, which doesn't affect the original. Whereas if they were components, if I change one, it would affect all dependent components. Now before I show you how to copy from one SketchUp model to another, please give us a thumbs up below. This helps us reach more people with our SketchUp quick tutorial videos. Now I will show you how to copy from one model to another. I have a separate file open. I downloaded a table from the 3D warehouse to demonstrate this function. The same rule applies to grouping. So again, I want to make sure this is either a group or a component, which it is because I selected it and I can see that it is a component in the Entity Info box. I will select the table, then hit Control c on my keyboard. I will flip over to the other file and then hit Control v on my keyboard, and there is my table on the end of my cursor. To place it, I click one time and hit the space bar to get out of the command. And that's it. You now know how to copy within a SketchUp file 
or from one file to another file. Now this concludes this quick SketchUp tutorial on how to copy geometry. Thank you for joining. We cover this topic in further detail and much more in our SketchUp for Beginners digital course. In addition, you can get a sneak peek of the course by visiting our website. I have included the link down below. Now while you're there, you can also sign up for a free access to our library of tips and tutorials on using SketchUp. Access to the library is free, and we are adding more helpful resources every month. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel and share it with others.